My mother used to tell me a story when I was a child. Thousands of years ago, there lived a powerful emperor whose greatest desire was immortality. He became obsessed, promising his greatest alchemists what they needed. They needed human subjects for their tests. Every year, on the same day, the Emperor sent soldiers to break down his people's doors, taking away the young and the healthy for experimentation. But these were no ordinary soldiers. They were taller, stronger, faster than normal humans. They each carried the mark Xi upon their bodies. The mark soon became a symbol of fear amongst the people, and that day forever became known as Xi. My mother told me she was one of the people that was experimented on, and that she lived unchanged for thousands of years. I always thought it was a fairy tale, never truly believed her, until now. They're too late to save her. <laughs> you have your mother's smile. We always wondered what the future would hold. But we couldn't have imagined how terrible it would be. Hmm. You knew each other a long time? Sana, come to the cockpit. Signal check. Could be useful in case we get separated. Affirmative. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Are you sure you really want to come with me? Yeah. I need to know what happened. We're at the coordinates, but I can't see any islands. I can't get a read on the instruments. There's nothing but fog down there. It seems safe enough, though. I'm taking us lower for a closer look. Strap yourselves in. Sana. I 
was so close when she died. But I couldn't save her. Uh, uh. <coughs> Come in, base. Do you read me? Over. Reading you, Cliff. What is it? Got an unidentified male here. Just fell from the sky. Sure, Cliff. We're the only one here. It'll be dragging the next. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you here? What's the matter? Don't you talk? <laughs> you fell onto the wrong island. We've been here months. <laughs> months with nothing to occupy us but junk. But now, <laughs> I've got you to keep me occupied. Uh, uh. Cliff, this is base. You reading me? Emergency recall. Stop playing with your imaginary friend and get back here. God damn it. Just when I was about to have me some fun. Someone's gonna pay for this. And we'll finish this when I get back. Hey, mister! Uh, wake up! Are you alright? Are you a good guy? Or a bad guy? Well, I don't think I'm a bad guy. Oh, I saw everything. When that bad man kidnapped you. Need me to unlock this? Please. Hmm, I need to find a tool. Let me see. Ugh, what a mess. Ah, this'll do. <sighs> Thanks. Who are you? Why are you here? Me. <laughs> you haven't heard of Cookie Pie. <laughs> I'm a famous streamer. Everyone's heard of me. I came here to find dragons. Dragons? Fire, come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear. It's good to hear your voice. Didn't think you'd die easily. What's your situation? Well, I just got saved by some kid, lost my gear in the crash, and have no idea where I am. So all told, I'm just peachy. I'll head for higher ground, try to find some kind of landmark. Roger that. Keep in touch. Sana, looks like there's more than we bargained for down here. Be careful. Copy that. So, have you come to find dragons too? Uh, right. Hey, you can't leave me here. I'm coming with you. I saved you after all. I'll see if I can get you somewhere safe. <laughs> Adventure awaits. Hurry up. Oh, my clothes are ruined. I can't go live to my followers like this.
that a dead body? Ugh, that smell. It stinks. Slow, mister. Wow, look at that view. Wait, let me take a selfie. Are you afraid of heights, mister? I love heights. So, you never answered my question. Are you here for the dragons or not? Because I was here first, so this is my exclusive. So, that's why they call it the Dragon's Triangle. Fisherman's stories mainly, but they won't come here anymore. Because of the dragons. How did you get here, kid? You can call me Cookie Pie. A lot of luck and a lot of cash. Hello, Betty. I've missed you. No one had heard of me when I finally got here. Then, those bad men stole my suitcase. Tough break. Cookie Pie shall have her revenge. They're looking for something. Who knows what? It had better not be dragons. What do you think, mister? Huh? Oh, that made me jump. They hadn't stolen my suitcase. I had my climbing gear in it. Only I, Cookie Pie, in all the world, dares to walk these boards. They don't care. Careful. Let me see. Phew, lucky I managed to escape. My fans would miss me if I got caught. This place is lethal. 
What are you still doing here? I am a live broadcaster, and I have my principles. I promised my followers I would find dragons, and I always keep my promises. Get down, they're armed. Hey, watch yourself. It'll be the last thing you ever do if they catch you. Hey. What I got? Cookie pie is full of surprises. Ah! Oh! I did not know it was loaded. You have it. Cover me! <laughs> Deserted island, no one can hear you scream. Mm. How far up do those legs Let go? Let me go. We'll take care of you. No need to be Let her go. What, what was you? that?
always thought Yingzhu Isle was a myth. So when I found out someone was looking for it, I thought it was all a big joke. It's ironic that I almost missed such a chance because of my incredulity. My name is Zhu Zhuoyin, a renowned scholar, professor of classical studies. Shi Kor found some of my research on the alchemists of the Ying dynasty. Mostly speculative papers, fringe stuff. But they made reference to Ying Zhu Isle. They invited me to join their expedition to find it. So here we are. There is some surviving architecture on the island. Scarce as it is, it seems to match the era. But that alone does not prove anything. We found a small citadel on the western side of the island. The internal structures were gone, but compacted earth platforms and the walls remained. We unearthed some pottery fragments, some excellent bronze sacrificial vessels of Ying design. I can hardly contain my excitement at the prospect, but I don't trust Shikor. What are their motives? This doesn't seem like an archaeological expedition. The majority of the staff are mercenaries. To fend off pirates or scavengers, they said. I heard some of them mention a rare jade. If their plan is to find and sell cultural artifacts, then I'll have a thing or two to say about that. Well, mustn't get carried away. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Zhu Zhuoyin, November 7th, 2017. How did all this stuff get here? Surely these goons didn't haul it here. <laughs> 